Hello students, this is Saranam Jaha from the Department of Commerce, Indra Priyadashini Government Degree College for Women. Today we are going to discuss about the third, uh, sorry, the three triple column cash book, ninth question. So here the question says that make out the three column cash book of Mrs. Ram and Mohan from the following particulars. Here the details are given what are the transaction has been took place during the month. We are writing, we will be looking on it. 1st of April 2013, cash in hand, bank overdraft, and paid salaries for March. On 2nd, we have purchased goods for cash, and that is next one is cash sales. On the next day, that is on 3rd, issued check in favor of Krishna and company to settle his account of 270, 260 only. Issued check of 260 in full settlement of 270. That means we have. Mm, issued a check we made a payment of 260 rupees but we have to pay actual we have to pay actually rupees 270 that means we have received a discount of 10 rupees then comes the received check from dhawan we received a check from dhawan for rupees 235 but we actually what we have to receive we have to receive 250 out of which 15 has been discount allowed then comes the uh, received check from the Ali and brothers in full settlement of the debt 200 that is 190. So received check of rupees 190 in full settlement of 200 that means we have to receive 200 rupees but we have received only 190 that means rupees 10 has been given as discount. Then on the 5th of April cash sent to bank here we are uh, depositing the cash into the bank that is 200 rupees. <coughs> Then on again on 5th of April, the next uh, statement says that check issued in favor of Ravi and brother for the purchase of furniture. Here we are purchasing a furniture of rupees 150. So furniture is an asset for our organization. So instead of writing Ravi and brother, we will be debiting the furniture. So here on the 6th of April, check of Ali and brothers dishonored bank debits in respect of charges 2 rupees. So here. On 4th, we have received a check from Ali and Brothers for rupees 190. But when we deposited that check into the bank and we were waiting to get uh, that check cleared, we came to know that the Ali and Brother don't have that much of money to make a payment or to clear the check from their account. So that check has been dishonored. Now, because the check has been dishonored, bank has uh, charged some penalty or some charges of bouncing of check. Or dishonoring of that check that is 2 rupees so 190 rupees plus 2 rupees we have to take from the uh, Ali and brothers then comes the uh, 6th of April on the same date again we are paying the rent uh, by check rent paid by check then the last entry is bank collects interest on security that means some amount has been deposited in our account that is the collection from the interest of securities that is 150 rupees okay here we are starting with the solution along with the question in front of us and the first statement says cash in hand cash in hand means as we all know uh, we will be writing the first heading uh, first writing the heading that is three column cash book of Messrs Ram and company sorry Ram and Mohan so on the debit side and on the credit side we are having two sides on the debit side we will be writing date particulars ledger folio discount column cash and bank columns again when it comes to the credit side we will be having the same columns and that says date particulars ledger folio discount and uh, so discount cash and bank account bank columns okay here after writing as we have prepared uh, cash book since our intermediate we can we are known we are known about this fact that the debit side always will be called as a receipt side and credit side is a payment side so just to make you know or recall your uh, theory or concept i'm writing here receipt on debit side and payments on credit side okay now the first uh, statement in our question given is cash in hand that means 1st of april 2013 we already have we are already having a balance of cash that means receipt to balance brought down cash balance that is 300 rupees then comes the bank overdraft that means this is the amount which we have to make a payment and that is the 
payment side we are writing because it is an overdraft if we had a bank balance we will be uh, we will be writing on the debit side but it is a overdraft so that's why we are writing on a credit side by balance brought down 450 rupees next comes paid salaries for march um, unless it is mentioned in the statement that salaries paid for march through check or by check we will be assuming that the payment has been made through cash so this is the payment paid salary so we are writing on a payment side on 1st of april by salaries account uh, in cash, uh, cash column 250 rupees next comes the purchase goods for cash that means we are purchasing goods by paying a cash so again purchasing goods by paying a cash so payment side we are writing on 2nd of april by purchases 30 rupees next comes cash sales when we are making sales we are receiving the cash so on the receipt side we are writing 2nd of april 2013 to sales account we are receiving cash sales it is mentioned it is a cash sale so we are writing on in cash column 80 rupees next comes the on 3rd of april 2013 issued check in favor of issued check issued means we are making a payment kisi ko de rahe hain to we are making a payment issued check in favor of krishna and company okay making payment to krishna and company so we are writing on credit side by krishna and company account how much we are making payment we issued a check of 260 rupees but the full settlement full settlement was 270 rupees that means 10 rupees is the discount received then next comes the uh, check uh, received check we are receiving on the receipt side on uh, huh, sorry not check fourth received cash from dhavan received cash from dhavan so receive on the receipt side we are writing on 4th of april 2013 to dhavan account okay how much we have received we have received a cash received a cash of 235 and actual discount allowed is 15 that means actually we, uh, what we are supposed to receive we were supposed to receive 250 rupees but here we have received 235 rupees that means we have discount allowed the one of rupees 15 okay then comes transaction on 5th of april again on 5th of april we are receiving check received a check so that we will be writing on the receipt side received a check from ali and brothers so we are writing on 5th on 5th of april 2013 to ali brothers account so what is the amount we have received we have received a check that means we are writing in the bank column 190 rupees but actual amount what we have to make a full settlement in 200 that means we have allowed a discount of 10 rupees okay then next comes cash sent to bank cash sent to bank then the next entry on 5th of april is, uh, is cash sent to bank that means this is a contra entry both uh, the accounts cash and bank are involved in this statement both are involved so we will be writing a contra entry the general entry for this cash sent so the cash is going out deb credit what goes out and debit uh, debit the receiver so who is receiving this cash bank is receiving and cash is going out or uh, what yes credit what goes out so bank account data to cash account so we will be writing here on 5th of april 2013 that is to cash account we will be mentioning here it as a contra entry no discount in the bank column we will be writing 200 rupees then on 5th of april 2013 here we are writing by bank account here it is a contra entry no discount in the cash column we are writing 200 then next comes here on the same date that is 5th of april check issued in favor of ravi brothers uh, for purchase of furniture check issued as soon as we says we issue a check or we give a check that means we are making a payment so on same date that is 5th of april 2013 check issued in favor of ravi and brothers by 
uh, we will not be writing Ravi and brothers because we are purchasing the furniture. So furniture is an asset. We will be writing here the furniture by furniture account. Nil. What? How we are making a payment? We are making payment through check. So we will be writing in the bank column one hundred and fifty rupees. Then next comes here entry on or statement of sixth of April two thousand thirteen. That is. Check of Ali Brothers dishonored and bank debits the uh, debits in respect of charges of rupees two. That means uh, the check of Ali Brothers, this check has been dishonored of one ninety rupees. And again, we were find we were find for rupees two rupees. We were find for rupees two. That is extra charges or penalty bank charges for bounce of that check. So here. Yeah, we are writing we are cancelling this entry that we have received this amount and we are charging uh, the extra amount or the penalty uh, forced on us by the bank on again on the date is 6th of april 2013 here we are writing by ali and brothers account here we are Made to write here one ninety two rupees because the actual amount of the check bonds was ninety plus two rupees extra charge or penalty or bank charges levied on us. That is so total comes to one hundred and ninety two rupees. Then next uh, uh, statement says that rent paid by check again paid means we are writing on a payment side here on sixth of April two thousand thirteen we are writing here by rent account. We paid through check, so we will be writing in the bank bank column that is hundred rupees. And the last statement says bank collects interest on securities. That means on our behalf, the bank has collected securities amount that is on sixth of April two thousand thirteen. We will be writing here to interest on securities account. So here, the bank has been received this amount. So we will be writing this on bank column, and the amount is one hundred and fifty rupees. Now here we will be totaling this. See, we have less amount, uh, less uh, transactions in debit side, but we have more transactions on credit side. We will be totaling first the credit side, and the credit side amount for the bank column is four hundred four hundred and fifty, two hundred and sixty, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and ninety-two plus hundred. So the total of this column, that means bank column, is one thousand one hundred and fifty-two rupees. Here we will be writing one thousand one hundred and fifty-two. As we can see the transactions, we can see that it, these amounts are less. So minus one hundred and ninety, two hundred, and one hundred and fifty. So the balance on the debit side of the bank column is six hundred and twelve. Okay, then comes to the uh, cash column. We can see here it says five hundred. That means debit side is more. Okay, three hundred eighty, two hundred and thirty-five. So we are getting the amount or uh, total on cash column is six hundred and. Fifteen rupees, six hundred and fifteen. When we deduct the credit amounts, that means from the income we are deducting the, uh, from the receipts we are deducting the payments, and the payments are two fifty, thirty, and two hundred. So here the balancing figure comes as, out of six hundred and fifteen, the balancing figure comes as one hundred and thirty-five. So from the Uh, receipts from the receipts of the 615 we have spent only 500 uh, 480 rupees that means we are still having balance in our with us on 31st of march 2013 by balance carried down we will carry forward this balance here on 1st of may 2013 we will write here to balance Brought down, and the cash balance brought down is one hundred and thirty-five. Here, when we see this, uh, we brought here the bank overdraft in the bank column. 
so when we see the receipts column we are having only less amount that is 190 200 and 150 we have received only 540 rupees in our bank account uh, previously we had 450 as bank od okay And again as we are having bank od we have made number of payments here so that means uh, payment is more than receipts so if we are making more expenses than our income we will be again getting here one more time the overdraft so on 31st of march 2013 here we will be writing to balance carried down just to make you understand i am writing here it is your overdraft again at the starting of the question we will be having we we were we were having a bank overdraft of 450 by the end of the question we are having a bank overdraft of 612 rupees okay here this bank od also we will carry forward to the sorry we will carry forward to the next month that is 1st of may 2013 here by balance brought down in the bank column 612 rupees so this is your question solved with the help of the pro forma uh hope you people don't have any doubt in the solution if you have any doubt you can raise your questions in a comment box or in the google classroom or in the whatsapp group hope you all are safe please take care of yourself we will meet again soon so definitely like share and subscribe to my channel hope we will meet soon again